are you still in love with me? Just kind of want to, you know, know what you feel. Um, I don't, I don't really know like where things are going to go. Um, I miss y'all. I miss y'all so freaking much. Like y'all don't even understand. Like y'all know. Yeah, y'all do understand. I miss y'all, and I can. I I know y'all miss me too. And Miss Natalie, we haven't posted in a cool minute. Like, bruh, me and Natalie. Woo! I did not. If I could literally go back in time, three years. Four years, I always get it wrong. I would not have expected all of this. I wouldn't have expected she would be my best friend. I wouldn't have expected for me to fall in love with her. I wouldn't expect for her to fall in love with me as well, cause she's straight. Man, there's so many things that I just have, I wouldn't have expected. And I wouldn't have expected if we were together, things would happen the way they're happening now. And uh, it's just, you know, it's a lot. Um, I kind of wanted to just talk to you guys cause I don't really know what's going to happen. I didn't expect to have as much support as I thought I would um, once the situation happened. And I really wanna say, I, I thank you guys so freaking much for all the support you guys been giving me personally. But I am very, very, very disappointed in a lot of you guys, how you guys are dealing with Natalie, you know? And mind you, you're entitled to have your own opinion, but it's like, damn, like I never thought y'all could be so ruthless. And not everybody, not, not, not all of you that are watching this video are ruthless. But a lot of you guys have been giving Natalie so much backlash. And it's like, bruh, like, y'all support her. Y'all say y'all support her here in the moment that she does something that y'all probably don't agree with. It's like, we, we not gonna support you, Natalie, because you did something we didn't agree with. So we're not gonna support you. We're gonna bash you. And that's something I just, I can't tolerate, you know? And I, I, don't, I don't appreciate that. You know, she's not only human, but she's the love of my life. And as the love of my life, I can't sit back and just watch it all happen, y'all. I freaking love this woman and I want it to work so bad. And say she doesn't want this to work and she wants to be completely just done with me. Just don't bash her, bruh. She's an amazing woman. Y'all supported her all this way, but the moment is something that y'all don't agree with, I didn't tell y'all to go bash this woman. Not one time, regardless of what I tweeted, regardless of what was said about me being hurt, Come on, y'all. Y'all gotta do better. We gotta do better, Neezy Gang. We gotta do way better, please. So what I'm, I'm gonna sit here and do is just ask you guys, if you've said anything negative, go apologize to her. Or if you're not big enough or bold enough to do that, just send positive energy her way, you know? And to mention the tweets that I said about her sister, regardless, I want this to work between me and Natalie. And I cannot make this work and continue to move forward regardless of how I felt during the moment I tweeted the stuff I tweeted about her family. Moving forward, I want this, I wanna be with her. So that's not gonna happen if I continue to just post stuff when I'm feeling a certain way. That's me backtracking, you know what I'm saying? So I want this to work and I want it to work and it can't work if I'm clashing and we're clashing, you know what I'm saying, with the family. It can't work because it's just like, that is what is has torn Natalie apart. I need y'all to understand like, going over there and bashing them, that ain't gonna, that ain't gonna make it better for me. How that gonna make it easier for me? Huh? How is that going? That's just making it seem like, yeah, we got easy back, F y'all. We gonna bash y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah. That ain't gonna help my situation at all. Y'all seen the last thing I said, I'm trying to fight for Natalie. Stop, just stop. It ain't gonna help the situation, it ain't. Like I said, I don't know what's gonna happen between me and Natalie, but what I do know is that she texts me. And you know, she did text me, said she wanted to talk to me. I don't know if it's something good or bad, but regardless, just to hear her voice is freaking incredible. I am a little nervous, so bear with me. Um, so let's get into this video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. <sighs> okay, so I just texted Natalie right now, and you know, I asked her, can I actually FaceTime her? And she said, yeah. So I'm nervous now. I didn't think that, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I thought, but we'll go see how this conversation goes. Damn word. Oh, let's make it big screen. Come on, Nana, answer. 
Hey. Hey. How's it going? Good. How are you? Well, crazy, but. <laughs> crazy? Why do you say crazy? I'm stressed, girl. Stressed? So, like, I'm aging 10 years in the future. Nah, you could never age. You look gorgeous, beautiful. Thank you. You look so freaking beautiful. How have you been? I know that your stresses with your freaking orders and stuff that's crazy but other than that and that insanity uh, bro it's i don't know i just feel like <sighs> i'm just trying to see positivity out of all of this you know everything that's happens tough. for a reason yeah it all happens for a reason it's just like what is the reason what was the reason <laughs> <laughs> but right it's just like yeah you know what's up though like you said you wanted to talk you know chop it up but usually when somebody says they want to talk you know how that goes it's not really you know too good and stuff so well i just have a few points that i want to like make mm -hmm. um clear the air make sure that um you understand certain things you know okay um like what I'm nervous first and foremost i just want to say that um <sighs> What? I love you. Um, I love you too. I know. Um, I know. I know that um, you know that I love you and stuff. But I just wanted to say it. You know where you can see my face. Mm -hmm. um, what? It's just been really hard. You mean? It's been really. It's been really. like to see you emotional what's what talk to me the amount of people um saying that i don't love you and uh making these assumptions and stuff about a relationship that has meant so much to me for the past three years oh natalie don't get emotional first off like natalie like you know that i freaking know how much you love me don't cry. Natalie, don't cry. Please don't cry. Listen to me. Hear me. Come here. Look at me. You and I both know how much you freaking love me. You put so much love into this and what they're just jumping to conclusions. You know what I'm saying? And like, I know you love me, especially over this three years. You show me more love than any girl that ever has. Okay? So you don't got to tell me you love me based off of them jumping to conclusions. They don't know half of the love that you put into this. Okay? Yeah. You don't gotta tell me that. I know. I know. It's just, um, it's tough, you know, being, um, accused of things and attacked by people who don't know you and don't know half of the stuff that happens behind the scenes. They don't, they literally see not even 1% of our lives. Mm -hmm. There's how many hours in a day and they get to only see us for maybe 30 minutes a week, yeah. you know, and it's just so unfair. I don't care about anything that they're saying. Like I said, people jump to conclusions and don't know nothing, all right? You do not have to justify your love for me, period. Like, I know how much you love me. You've shown so much, okay? All right? Um, I also wanted to be coming to Miami and my reasonings for it and stuff. I know we talked about this already, but like I said, just people attacking and assuming and judging and stuff is just making me want to talk to you about it. That... Let me just get it out. <sighs> Go ahead. Me coming to Miami has been 100% for my mental health. It hasn't been me being done with you completely or being like, yo, I'm out, like being done with EXN. I don't know why people are jumping to those conclusions because I never said that mm -hmm. to anybody. It has been 100% for like my mental health. You know, I needed to be with my mom so she can help me deal with the emotions that I was feeling um, from stuff that has happened over the past few years. You know what I mean? And look, over look, Natalie, I know it's not just a t I just told you and I it, I'm not frustrated with you. I'm just frustrated that I know it's not because of a tweet. I know that it's so much deeper than that and people jump into conclusions and then that's hurting you. That shit hurts me and I don't I hate to see you hurt. Like I hate it, bro. I know you had to make the decision for your mental health and everything that you was going through personally. Don't let these stupid comments 
make you feel like, you know, even worse about what's going on with your sanity and your mental health, you know? I know. Um, and since I just want you to know, like, since I've been here in Miami, you know, my mom has been, like, helping me a lot, like, helping me learn how to and deal with things. You know, this time apart is just really just showing me how much I love you and how much I care about you. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> I'm really happy to hear that, you know? Your sanity and how you feel means so much to me. And the fact that I can even just think that some of these people said that they support us, but then like turn their back on you and you literally, man, it's just, it's heartbreaking. And I'm, I'm just, I just want to say, I'm sorry. You know, I know this has affected you so much. I support you and I'm glad that you're taking this time for you because that's what you need. And don't let anybody make you feel like what you did was wrong because the reaction that you're getting you know what i'm saying I yeah. support, I support and that's you. what's been really hard is just i don't it's not even just them you know what i'm saying like I mean, the whole point of this call the reason why i said i wanted to talk to you is just to make sure that you know what's up you know what i mean and that you are not in the mindset that anything that they're saying is true at all about me about my family like it's just crazy how people can judge a whole the whole picture when they only have one puzzle piece of it we also got to know too that we putting our business out there we got to have the mindset of all right if we putting it out there there's gonna be those people that hide behind screens that just try to bash us and stuff like that but you have to know and you have to keep that in your mind if you want to put that out that's gonna happen but we can't allow that to affect us and i can tell that that has has affected you you know based off of this conversation and you have to know that you know that i love you and i know what's real if we're gonna put it out there we gotta we gotta know what's gonna come in return you i guess know what I'm it's saying? just hard yeah because i haven't ever been so vulnerable um publicly before so i didn't really know the extent that people yeah. are willing to go to tear you down you know what i'm saying i'm so sorry that you have to feel this and you know, I care about you. I love you, you know, and you're loved. But yeah, overall, um, I just really wanted to talk real quick to let you know, like, where my mind's at and that, you know, I do. I love you and I care about you. And I just want to tell you that face to face. I know I've been telling you that, but yeah. Well, I appreciate that. And, you know, the fact that, you know, you've been checking on me and, you know, seeing how I'm doing and stuff like that, like, it really means a lot, um, you know, and I just kind of, you know, even though you call me, I kind of, you know, do want to know, like, where do we stand? Like, are we going to, you know, move forward? Do you want to be with me? Are you still in love with me? Kind of want to, you know, know what you feel now, you know what I'm saying? Um. I don't, I don't really know like where things are going to go, um, but to answer your question, yes, I'm, I'm still in love with you. You still in love with me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's a step. Okay. Well, that's all I needed to hear. Um. I'm so in love with you too. I'm so in love with you. And you know that. I guess we gotta, yeah. Just figure it out. <laughs> I'll talk to you, I guess, later then. Okay. All right. Good night. Bye.